Hey there, fam. How's everyone today? Doing all right? Just chilling, you know? And here trying to, trying, to, trying to figure out, well, I mean, you know, yeah, still trying to figure out. I don't, don't have all the answers, but got some plans. We'll go over the, the, the thoughts of how we're going to go through the strategies for VV for the next year. You know, and then a little bit beyond. We'll get to that at the end as I give my bit of my, my long term or short term goals. Depends on the project we're talking about. But this is the goal here for VV. We're going to A, number one, two, number 12, 14, pi. No, number one, grab first appearances. Now, as someone who has collected comic books for a long time, first appearances, and that could be either first editions of a comic book or the first time a character appears in a comic book form. You know, like Batman's first uh, appearance was in D Detective Comics DC 27, Detective Comics 27. Then you have like Superman and Superman number one. So, oh no, action, I'm sorry, Action Comics number one. I'm trying to think of someone who, like Fantastic Four and Fantastic Four number one. So I'm just, you know, giving an example. It's not necessarily their um issue with their first appearance is is the first appearance of that so if you can get first appearances in terms of the statues that are coming out the collectibles or the comic books those are valuable number two try for each drop you know when i mean that, i mean ones that make sense like if it's you know a hundred dollars no don't put a hundred dollars if you don't want to on the app but you should at least put ten dollars on the app at least seven dollars on the app and try for each comic book twice a week, however, however often they do, you know, because if you can just get one, you could probably sell it for twice as much a little bit later. And now you got $14 to, to spend on the app to try for. So you should at least have seven bucks on there and at least try for each time there's a comic book drop. And now, it's, look, you, you, you know, there's VV has some plans in place. You know, like I said, the problem is getting the gems off. There are ways around it, but, you know. That's one option. I'm sorry, not one option, but one obstacle as well as um, uh, competing with the bots to win um, to, you know, to get these drops. Now, supposedly they're going to en enact some measures that should reduce that, hopefully. We'll keep an eye on that. But, you know, go out there and try. You, 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 what you can do is what can happen can happen. Never know. So try for each drop. Especially you got money, even if you don't like the product. Who cares if it's if you don't like it? If other people like that, that's what's important. It's not so much, you know, take your ego out of this. We're trying to make money. So if you can get it, it can flip it to somebody else. It's even better. You don't care about selling it. And we'll talk about that in that in the um when I do that video about the, the mindset is, you know, stop being attached. You 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 go out here and attach yourself to these things that do not care about you. <laughs> and then end up upset about it, but we'll we'll go and, and you know we'll talk about why that process occurs, the unconscious processes. Get, if you can, this is if you can get multiple copies of high quote unquote resale, I'm putting quotation marks of value items, and those are things that people want. And so if you do, you know, get lucky on a seven dollar flip, turn into a thousand dollars, you may look and say, oh, I can buy like two or three copies of this or statues of this thing that people seem to like a lot that's that you know i think is undervalued you know you have to start thinking like that it's not so much now you there are some things you may want but if you're also in this to make money you're in it to think about what is it that other people are going to want to buy in the future and that should be your mindset and look for deals just like i said if you think see things that are undervalued you may want to grab them so keep a mindset and an eye on looking for deals so, you know, the VV app, uh, these are now selling for about 200 or, or maybe even $300 now. I think it was two, $199 or $299. I can't remember exactly what they were selling for 100 when they came out. Like I said, you may not want to spend have $100 on the app. That's fine. Un or unless you flipped yourself up to 100 then yes, you should have been trying to get this as well. Now, why is this important? NFT sales aimed for $17.7 .7 billion in 2021, which I think was up from like $9 billion a year before or even or even or even less. What was it last year? Um, 
No, last year was 340 million. Now we had 17.7 billion. And the collectible market um, is estimated, globally is estimated to be at 372 billion worldwide. And is po poised to grow 7% compound annual growth between 2021 and 2028 to reach 522 billion, over a half a trillion dollars. And out of that, you're seeing, now this is a um, market decipher there, report here for thousands of thousands and thousands of dollars. You can see eight thousands or almost nine, almost seven, almost five. That they expected to go from, what is this? Almost about, about seven, seven percent to almost 30%. These are guess I'm t I didn't I couldn't go through and see numbers. They probably buy a report to get their actual numbers, but they go through all of these from Lava Labs, NBA Top Shop, Dapper Labs, Decentraland, OpenSea, Funko. Talk about how this is going to grow over time. So this is why this is important, and my thesis stands, which is. People are going to want to buy collectibles of things they recognize and draw those memory berries from. It's not to be mean to anything else, not to say they won't have their place and it's not going to, you know, over time they may blend into each other. But do not mistake the importance of what this will be in the future. And not that many people are on VV yet. It's still early. Like I said, it's the threat of or, you know, the hey. At this point, there's no way to, to transfer those jewels back into bucks. Otherwise, this would probably have been super blown up. But, hey, you can be in early before that happens. So with that, oh, I keep forgetting. So if it ain't clear from that, my thought on this is this is a make it or break a year. And I'm not going to say that, but, you know, far from a make or break a year, I, I believe this is going to be. My outlook on this is kind of super long term, quite honestly. If if they this could be, you know, I saw someone, um, I believe I was watching a, a, some guy's YouTube. I can't remember who exactly his name, but he was saying that yeah, this could be a household name. Vivi, you know, uh, this app is going to be um, continue with this and continue to get these brands. It'll be and. and once the NFTs can flow back and forth freely and the money can go freely, yeah, this would be one of the biggest things in, in the ease of use, the biggest things in the world. So I um, my, my my look is like could be anywhere, you know, now if they stifle it and do all the things that, you know, saying they don't never make it easy for money to go back and forth or to be able to take your NFTs off the device somewhere else or use in metaverse, then yeah, this is going to wither away and die in less than two to three years. But if they make those moves, this is a, um, you know, three to five, seven year, you know, long term planning, hopefully build in now with a bunch of the, the things that I that I get that people want in the future, please. So super long, super, super bullish. If they pull off that, if they get too hesitant and too scared and back up on that, I'm running, running for ZLs. So that's where we at with it. With that, now with that said, I love you. You love you. God loves us. And that's all that matters.